Hey gang, Jones here, back with another video here today. And today we're gonna talk about patch two details and also Hotfix three that just dropped. We're gonna go over Hotfix three first, just talk about it and it's dropped and stuff like that, and then go into the patch two details. So let's get into it. So Hotfix 5.3 has been launched and it seems to be doing well. It fixed all the issues that carried with it, like the 5.2 Hotfix. It fixed all those issues. That was a big deal. But their response to it was incredible. And they came back and just fixed everything. And then also we're gonna talk about the patch two details. So they're just really kicking it, doing a really, really good job. It fixed task related issues. So like if you'd go in and double click hand over, there would be items that disappeared, stuff like that. It fixed that. It reduced rubber banding. So you should see a performance increase as far as rubber banding goes. And it also improved the AI behavior against multiple players. So how the AI reacts, I'm not sure how exactly what they're supposed to do with multiple players. But it'll be interesting to see like places with Tiger Bay where you go and you're with multiple people and see how they relax because there is a ton of AI there. We'll just have to see what that means as far as reacting goes. Also, there was a thing that I wanted to talk about with Hotfix 5.2 is that they said AI are gonna react to sounds behind them. So I know a lot of times I've like snuck up right behind AI when I'm behind them and they can't hear. So be aware of that. Uh, as far as sneaking up behind them, you may not be able to do that now because they fixed an issue where they wouldn't react to sound behind them. Okay, moving on to patch two details. So there are more LZs and nine to be exact. I did have a video talking about this and it's a big community update, talks about a bunch of different things. If I don't mention it in the far as the patch two details, you can go watch that, check that out and see what uh, stuff is in store for the future of Grey Zone Warfare. Anyway, I'm gonna show this picture right here. Nine LZs to be exact. Now, what I get from this is that they're more safe, like they're farther away from the POIs, which I think is a great idea because a lot of times they're a little bit too close. The dinner bell rings, you know, people are there, all people are coming. We're gonna go camp the LZ and then kill them. Also with the more LZs, I think it kind of combats LZ camping just because there's so many different options to have. So like, I know I've been sitting at LZs waiting for my heli. Somebody comes and lands and I kill them. And then I've had it the opposite way where I get off a heli. I've ran through escape, thankfully. And then I notice that they're just getting on a heli. So I think this should help with LZ campers and accidental camping. So I think it'll do both. Also, if you look on the top right, you'll see that they have added pickup LZ and destination LZ details when you click on a heli. So now, without having to guess or ask somebody, you can simply just click on the heli and it'll show you the pickup LZ and the destination LZ. That is very cool. So you don't have to sit here and ask and wait and guess, and you can just hop a ride with somebody. It'll be a lot faster sitting there instead of waiting like five to you know, seven minutes to get a heli, you can simply jump on one and get a ride. So they're gonna have a new setting for mouse sensitivity when you ADS. So that'll be nice, you know, when you go in looking look in a scope or red dot, whatever it may be, to be able to adjust the sensitivity so it's not as fast as it would be if you were just looking around, which is a big quality of life thing, because I know that I lower my sensitivity when I am ADSing in comparison to when I'm looking around. So that is very nice. Also, they're going to fix various crash issues. Now we do not have access to the whole patch two notes yet, but if you wanna get caught up on what is in the future of the game, like I said, I'll leave the video up on the top right again. I have a community update where they talk about a bunch of different things, more LZs included, which is gonna be on patch two. Now patch two is going to be available on the test server tomorrow on June 14th. So make sure that you're going to test that and help them out. It is said to be their largest public playtest so far, and it will be separated into waves. So if you're able to get in and test it, make sure you are. Now we do not have all the notes for patch two yet. They will not be available until patch two actually goes live. So make sure that you're going to the test branch and doing that. All right guys, that is a small update I have for you. Hotfix 5.3 is doing well. They responded great, not only from the social media presence, but actually when the Hotfix 3 point came out, doing great. Patch two testing server tomorrow. Make sure you test that out. More LZs should help camping and stuff like that. Big quality of life stuff and optimization. Love to see it. Anyway, guys, with that being said, I'm Jones and I'm out. Peace.